All right, guys, we're gonna have some fun today. It's back day, and I have the privilege of working with Fetty Mo, Olympian, Arnold contender, and Jared Wollman, IFBB Pro, getting ready for his pro debut. Back smashing in the 619. We're gonna utilize a whole bunch of different intensifying techniques to make this workout fun. It's gonna be a good one. I'll tell you what, whenever I work with these guys, I get anxious. So usually before my leg day, my heavy back day, I get anxious for my own self. These guys crush it, it's gonna be fun. I hope you enjoy it. Now with the lap pull down, one of the things you wanna keep in mind is shoulder mobility. As you can see with Jared and with Mo, both of them lean back a little bit, open the chest, drop the shoulders. So it's all about how much the shoulders can go up and come down. Go up and come down. Because it's a function of the lats to pull on the scapula and to pull on the humerus to drive the elbows down and towards the hips. Down and towards the hips. Opening the chest, trying not to lean back too far from the thoracics down, but upward. They get a nice good expansion of the chest, which is going to contract the lats maximally, bringing back the scapula. All right, one more of those, high rep, and then we'll go. What happens a lot of times when guys first start doing pull downs, you'll see they try to pull with the traps rolling forward rather than retracting the shoulder blades and opening the chest and dropping downward. This is something that is a lot of a, a, a lack of connection mentally, the mind muscle connection to the lats doesn't occur. You know, the, the thing with Mo and with Jerry both, they have great connection to their muscle already, so it's kind of hard to demonstrate incorrect form. But that was the best you can do. What happens a lot of times, you know, we're always pulling, everything we do in life is traps, it's stress, it's driving, it's computers. So when you come to train, if you haven't really been able to isolate lats before, shoulders down and back, chest open, you end up pulling with traps. The traps are always working. So when you see some of the experience, you can tell that they're pulling with lats when the shoulders are down, chest is open. We're gonna get heavy on this one now. We did just a straight pyramid. We want to keep the reps high to get the blood going. But I want to keep their form relatively tight, so I'm giving some assisted reps at the end when they start to fatigue so we can hit a higher rep range of somewhere on 12 to 15. The thing is, when you give them assistance on the positive, you let them grab the concept, the eccentric phase, it, does, it definitely activates a little bit more of that muscle fibers rather than letting them just fling it up. So we're still going relatively aggressive and heavy, but with a, the governor of the fact that I'm trying to modify to keep their form super tight. These guys are pros, so their form's real tight anyway. But I just like to keep easing them in, so we keep challenging them with aggressive weight. I got it. <laughs> All right, let's smash. All right, now we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna get a little bit heavy. We're gonna do old basic one-arm dumbbell row. These are amazing for an overall lat pull. One of the things you wanna be careful of is to not round the shoulders when you're pulling. Keep the back flat, open the chest, pull with the shoulder blades together, get that scapula retraction. You wanna get a good stretch, but you don't wanna pull upwards with the traps, you wanna pull back down with the lats. Check this out. this arsenal press, arsenal strength bench for uh, 
mid-back row. It's very similar to a bent over row that you could do if you don't have this bench or you don't have an incline bench you can hang off of. You can do this standing, just bent over. The difference in this one is the trajectory. You're gonna bend over almost at a vertical angle with the torso so you can hit the mid-back. This is gonna be mid-lat. We focus on lower lats with our dumbbells. This will be mid-lat rhomboids and lower traps. We're gonna add a little intensifier to this. We're gonna pause and hold for three seconds at the peak contraction, just to make it a little more challenging. This is a fun exercise. is we're going a little bit heavier today we're keeping everything about 90 seconds of rest in between sets so the pace is still aggressive these guys are going heavy so we're not smashing the pace and keeping it 10 15 seconds or 30 seconds of rest their off season is just about done they're about to enter contest mode pre-contest mode so we're gonna start picking things up but we've been training hard we've been training volume so they've got a lot of conditioning already and as we start getting them leaner cutting the food back we're gonna keep smashing the weight. We're gonna start picking up the pace a little too. So the intensity will continue to build. These guys have been training hard. This has been a fun year. We're gonna see some good things on stage. Uh, uh, Usually we do these midway through the workout, but we're towards the tail end of the workout. Guys are already tired. We're gonna have some fun zeroing in on form with our heavy rack pulls. We're gonna superset with T-bar row. They don't know that yet. I only get five reps. I don't even know how many I put. Had to be ten or more. Let's go. Jared Freddy Moe, 
These guys are two pros, two of the hardest grinding guys I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Most 16 weeks out, getting ready for this season. Smash it, trying to get back on that Olympia stage. And Jared's actually getting ready for his pro debut in Classic towards the end of the year as well. So keep following these guys, see how hard they work towards their goals. Very inspirational. Today was just the beginning, just the tip of the iceberg of what they can do and what they've done in the past and what they're doing. Very exciting. Awesome work, guys.